Hello, my name is Michael Broach and I'm the Academic Dean at Bishop Kenny High School. One of the most frequently asked questions that I receive is regarding placement in mathematics. I'd like to take a few minutes to explain how and why we place students in math to ensure that they have the best opportunity to find success in our college preparatory curriculum. The majority of our ninth grade students begin in Algebra 1 or Algebra 1 Honors. Algebra 1 is the foundation of our math curriculum and it is essential that students master the concepts in this course in order to be prepared for Algebra 2 and later coursework. Therefore, we are very cautious before we place a student beyond Algebra in ninth grade not to hold students back, but again to ensure that they are prepared. This is why some students may be asked to take algebra again. We recognize that most of our incoming freshmen already have some exposure to algebra in eighth grade. However, it is so essential that a student has mastered the essential concepts of this course before moving ahead. I'll return to this in a few minutes. For a student who begins in Algebra 1 or Algebra 1 Honors, he or she would then move to geometry in 10th, algebra 2 in 11th, and then an advanced math course in 12th grade. What's important to remember about all of our math courses at Bishop Kenny is that they are taught at a college prep level. This means that our coursework, including algebra 1, goes much further and deeper into math than what you might find in other schools. Again, our placement is designed to ensure students have the best path for personal success in our curriculum. So now, a student who excels in Algebra 1 may actually request to double in math in the sophomore year if the goal is to get to calculus or additional advanced math courses by senior year. Waivers for double math are approved by me, and let me share with you some of the success we've had with this. Recently, I've interviewed groups of juniors in pre-calculus who took this path. Each had taken Algebra 1 again at Bishop Kenny, then doubled, then moved right into pre-calculus. What was amazing to me is that these kids had such strong grades. When I interviewed them, I asked them to give me their honest and candid feedback on their placement. In fact, I told them, don't hold back. For one, they overwhelmingly said that they were glad they took Algebra 1 at Bishop Kenny. For some, they shared that they had not covered as much content in eighth grade. For others, they said that while they covered the same concepts, they just hadn't mastered it. When I asked about two math courses in one year, again, the response was overwhelmingly positive. One aspect that they really appreciated was that by doubling in math, there wasn't that year-long gap between Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. I asked if they felt it was too much for one year. The consensus of the room was that because these two courses are so different, it wasn't that hard. Also, several chose to take world history in summer school so that they could have an extra elective in their 10th grade schedule. One young lady even remarked that she felt better prepared in pre-calculus honors than her peers who began ninth grade in geometry. And the data on student performance also supports the positive comments we've received from our students over the years. This may lead you to ask, then what is our criteria for starting a student in geometry or geometry honors? For geometry honors, we are looking for students who have a solid A in Algebra 1 and 8th grade, that the teacher has recommended that the student is ready to move beyond algebra by taking geometry honors, and that recommendation is supported by the placement test data. Typically, students in geometry honors are those who are scoring in the 85th, 90th local percentile on the high school placement test math section or if they don't quite have the score on the HSBT, other standardized testing data, such as the Terra Nova, supports the placement. Why do we rely on this testing data and not just the grade or completion of algebra? For one, a grade in a course is based on many things, smaller unit tests, completion of homework, and other factors, whereas a test such as the HSPT demonstrates a student's confidence and mastery in basic math skills acquired over several years. Again, we have this standard not to hold students back, but to make sure that they have the confidence and mastery to find success in our college prep program. We never want a student to be set up to struggle later on. If a student has demonstrated mastery on the HSPT or Terra Nova, 
or maybe is close to that criteria, but might not have a strong A, or maybe the teacher has not recommended honors, but has recommended geometry, we would then place a student in our college level, our college prep level geometry course. As I mentioned before, our focus really isn't about geometry. I'm confident that the majority of our freshmen could handle geometry in ninth grade. Our real focus is ensuring that students are ready to find success in Algebra 2, which is why we hold a high placement standard in ninth grade. Of the three foundational math courses, Algebra 2 is the most rigorous, and we want to set up students to succeed and not to struggle. Also, a student who begins in geometry or geometry honors must take Algebra 2 in 10th grade, followed by two more advanced math courses. That's usually pre-calculus and calculus. It's important to remember that at minimum, students must complete four credits in math earned during grades 9 through 12 in order to earn a Bishop Kenny diploma. Again, why we have this standard for placement in geometry or geometry honors in ninth grade. It's not all about ninth grade, it's about all four years. Finally, I'd like to remind you that there are no tracks at Bishop Kenny. If your child begins in a college prep course, that doesn't mean that he or she won't make it into honors. Our office only places students in ninth grade. After that, students place themselves for courses in 10th, 11th, and 12th grades by their achievement. A student who holds a 95 average in a college prep course can sign right into honors the next year. If the student doesn't quite have that 95, but is close, and the teacher recommends, he or she would request a waiver to move to honors. The purpose of that waiver conference is to have a conversation with the student to ensure that honors the next year would be the most ideal placement. What's important to keep in mind about honors versus college prep courses is the student's overall GPA. While there certainly is an advantage to taking more rigorous courses, if a student isn't able to keep up with the class and earns a lower grade, it not only affects his or her confidence in mastering that subject, but also the overall GPA. That's because an A in a college prep course earns a 4.0 GPA, whereas a B or a C in honors would be a 3.5 or 2.5. Colleges will want to see not only the coursework taken in high school, but also a strong GPA, as well as those scores on the SAT and ACT. Again, let me emphasize, all of our placement criteria are designed to ensure that students have the best path of success at Bishop Kenny. As always, please reach out to me or our school counseling office if you have any questions.